The Great Salt Lake continues to benefit from melting spring runoff after a record winter snowpack. On Thursday, the Weber Basin Water Conservancy District started releasing water from Willard Bay into the Great Salt Lake. The release amounts to 650 million gallons per day and will last anywhere from two to four weeks. Willard Bay was being used to capture spring runoff and to ease flooding concerns along the main stem of the Weber River. Now that the reservoir is reaching its capacity, officials are using a rarely used spillway to empty water directly toward the lake. The release is coming after winter snow led to a record snowpack. Legislative leaders say this type of release isn't feasible during dry years. The Willard Bay release will account for a couple inches of increased lake levels. But it's only PAR of Weber River water being released to the lake. Officials are currently sending 1.2 billion gallons a day to the lake through the main stem of the Weber River. The 650 million gallons from Willard Bay is in addition to that. The Great Salt Lake has risen about 4 feet above its November low. Much of that rise was recorded in the south arm of the lake. Water is now evening out between the south and north arms, so rises in lake levels will be less dramatic. Officials estimate the lake will rise another 1 to 3 feet after spring runoff is finished.